Hi guys, Mr. Pulley here to show you a quick uh, view of, uh, in this case, the student view of the new Schoology assessment platform. Uh, I'm in a test right now, um, but what I want to show you is there are things that are a little bit different in here. I'm not going to run through all the question types. Uh, Glenn uh, Irvin did a great series of videos, Irv Spanish, and I'll include a link to those videos in the description for this one. Uh, I just want to show you some of the question types, uh, and the students... Uh, weren't excited i gotta admit up front they were not excited i was excited they weren't excited until they got into it and played with it they were like oh it's new it's different they whined and complained and then they got in and played with the features and suddenly they were happier okay so what i want to show you is here i'm just going to go to a basic multiple choice question is first of all when i choose one it highlights a band all the way across here which helps the student quickly identify which one they chose as opposed to getting the, the wrong dot uh, I like this single question per page kind of format as opposed to that whole list where they can scroll because as my students scroll through, they were touching in the uh, answer area and changing their answers and then saying Schoology changed their answer when it was really them doing what I've told them multiple times not to do. Uh, other thing you can do is you can go in here and all these tools, I can flag this for review. Uh, and so if I go in here, I'm going to see that this question and question number one here have been flagged for review for me. Uh, and so they can go in and do that. Uh, I'm going back to question 13 here. This is a matching question. I did want to show something in here that is kind of uh, I don't like, sadly. It's if I go in here and change this to this, if I go into question 13 now, it's going to say question 13 is fully attempted when, as we can clearly see, I've only done one of the four things. So be aware of that. Might want to warn your students about that. Not a big problem. It's something you might want to warn them about. Uh, another thing I want to show you is here in question. Ah, uh, here it is. Uh, in this question, I tried to include uh, a variety of ones. This one is a drag and drop fill in the blank question. Uh, and the correct answer for this is in Greek, most Greek city states before 500 BC, citizenship when voting rights were usually extended to, and the correct answer is male landowners only. And so I want to drag that up. But what happens is, oh, I only see male and land and then dot, dot, dot. And so I would probably tell you if you're going to do this, maybe just have one word or two word answers for that. Because what if I over here said male landowners over the age of 40 only, and then the students would have kind of checked not just what answer they chose, but also make sure they had, you know, left the incorrect one down at the bottom. So something to keep aware of, be aware of rather. Um, I put these on here because they're not really available. They're on the toolbar here. They, there's a calculator. This is the scientific calculator. There's also a basic one. Uh, you can add a ruler. This is the 15 centimeter ruler. Um, and I can move it around, as you can see. But as Glenn has pointed out, that's also available. There's also a protractor. Um, and so I'm going to make these go away now. Uh, students can go to a full screen version of this. Okay. If they want to know what the tools are, hey, click on the, collapse the tool or open the toolbar and they can see all the options. But my students who complained the most, I was monitoring them on my GoGuardian account, and the students suddenly who weren't the good students who I wouldn't worry about cheating had these funny screens. And I'm like, where, where, where are they on? They're, they're out of the test. What are they doing? I'm watching. Can't they see that? And then they had gone into accessibility and decided to change the background. So their test looked like this with a green background. Or and this was popular with the girls, believe it or not. And, and of course, the uh, black on rose was popular. A lot of the guys switched to the yellow on uh, blue. I had people switching to the black, the white on black. Uh, they did all these things. I'm going back to white because I'm an old traditionalist. Uh, and all those things are in there for them. I didn't know this until we got in here and played with this. Actually, the students got in there to play with it. Funny, suddenly then they liked that. Um, so some cool things in there, uh, drop down, uh, questions for filling the blank, uh, drag and drop question ones, which you can pull in and out of there. Um, and I really like on just a basic, again, that idea of a basic um, multiple choice question, when they select the answer, it highlights that bad across there. And the students who complained at first, you know, it's something new. And it, for them, it's a new test. Who cares? But then when they got done, they all pretty much agreed they liked it a lot better. And so do I. So enjoy, uh, and again, I'll link you guys to uh, Glenn Urban's uh, Irv Spanish uh, videos on all the different question types, uh, and we'll see you soon. Bye.